being presented by our esteemed platinum sponsor, Felix Politsky, Managing Director and uh, Registered Principal of MetLife. We always look forward to having uh, Felix join us, of course, very supportive, engaged, and a very passionate leader. So Felix, come on up here, and let's present the next two awards. I remember you last year, Felix. You went on and on and told some great stories. Now, let's see what you're going to do this year. I love that jacket you're wearing. I may borrow that for the news one night. <laughs> Here's Felix, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, brother. All yours. What, what an honor. What an honor. I can, uh, this, is a, this is amazing to be introduced by Ernie. Thank you. That's uh, really, it's incredible. Nancy, thank you. Ken, thank you. All the members of MCC that make this morning happen, thank you and congratulations to everyone that's here today. You know, before I introduce the two amazing award winners, I actually want to address a serious issue. In the past, when I presented, I've made some, some jokes and, and uh, you know, maybe made a fool of myself, but you know, this time I, uh, I want to address a serious issue. I actually think we have an epidemic in this country where we are mistreating and stereotyping unfairly the Generation Y this millennial generation. We, we, we think of them as employers as lazy, which is not fair, that they're entitled. And I, and I really, I don't think that's fair to them. Someone that was born in 78 and missed it by a few years, I, I could have been part of that group. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, um, yeah, I want to stick up for them. I, over the past few years, I've been coaching wrestling, and I've had personally an opportunity to get to know this future generation of leaders. And I can tell you that you're not getting enough credit for how creative you are as a, as a group. How many people here are part of the millennial generation, that generation Y? All right, great. So he, here's, here's someone that's going to stick up for you. <laughs> You know, this, uh, so, not too long ago, I had a chance to take uh, to take my wrestling team to a wrestling tournament in the South, and uh, we did well in the tournament. As we were traveling back, we stopped by a diner, and if you can picture a diner in the South that is full of truckers on uh, middle of uh, of the afternoon, and then in this. Uh, Beautiful diner is a huge jukebox, enormous, and, and it's not, no one's playing music, and our food comes out, we're talking, and all of a sudden, music comes on, and it's Kenny Rogers, The Gambler. You guys know the song, right? Right. You got to know yes. Know when to fold up, know when to walk away, and know when to run. Never count your yeah. when you're at the table. So that song comes on, and yeah, it's a good song. Someone that grew up in Ukraine, Odessa, it wasn't country music, wasn't uh, near and dear to my heart, but but good song. Then the second song comes on, and it's Kenny Rogers, the gambler. So I'm, I'm looking around, and I see my guy smiling a little bit. I'm thinking to myself, not a big deal. The third song comes on, and it's Kenny Rogers, The Gambler. I'm looking around, and uh, people are, are looking at each other like, oh, is machine broken? <laughs> the third song comes on, or the fourth song, rather, comes on, and it's Kenny Rogers, The Gambler. Now, at this point, people are looking around, and they're saying, like, you know, is something wrong? What's going on? Looking at the machine, the managers, they're checking. The fifth song comes on. You're not going to believe it. It's Kenny Rogers, The Gambler. And I'm looking at my guys. I'm like, you, you didn't. The sixth song comes on, and it's Kenny Rogers, The Gambler. Now, at this point, this room full of truckers are getting pissed off. You can tell they're just getting fired up. And here's the brilliance of this millennial generation, the creativity that comes out. 
the seventh song comes on, and it's Watch Me Nay Nay or Watch Me. <laughs> you guys know the song? And here's what I can tell you. I, I never thought in the million years that I would see a bunch of truckers from the South be happy to hear Watch Me Nay Nay. I mean, I can tell you that the room was ecstatic. People were, were you, you could see the relief. And it was just, there was the moment of satisfaction. Finally, it was fixed. There was no more Kenny Rogers. It was Watch Me Nay Nay, and it was, it was incredible. I, I never thought I, I would see that. And then that song ends. And a new song comes on, and it's Kenny Rogers, The Gambler. And the room just went absolutely ballistic. I told my guys to get on the bus before we, uh, we get murdered. And the brilliance and the creativity of that group was incredible. So here's the point of me telling you the story. First of all, I thought it was pretty funny. But second of all, hire, if you're an employer, hire more Generation Y. This generation might not increase your P&L or drive your profitability or increase your results, but the level of satisfaction they're going to bring to your organization and the entertainment value they're going to bring to your organization is unbelievable. So thank you. You guys want to watch Ernie do some uh, nae afterwards? Yeah. <laughs>